Marcus Julius Cicero was born January 3rd, 106 BC and died December 7th, 43 BC. Cicero was born in Italy, a Roman at a time when Rome was the most powerful empire on earth. Cicero was a politician and a philosopher, but one of the most interesting parts of Cicero's life was the personal letters he sent to family and friends. We know that he wrote almost 800 letters, though few of those survive to this day. Most of the surviving letters were written in his later years, close to the end of his life. These letters, though not intended to be poetic in nature, often flowed with Cicero's emotions, revealing his deep humanity. Cicero was set to be exiled in 58 BC after a new law was introduced clearly aimed towards him politically. He tried to combat the law, but exiled himself after there proved to be no help for him from persecution by the council. This caused him to fall into a deep depression. He wrote to Atticus, Your pleas have prevented me from committing suicide, but what is there to live for? Cicero once wrote his wife about his exile, Nothing was more pitiful, more base, or more unworthy of myself than the line I actually took. Many are hostile, nearly all jealous. To expel me had been difficult. To keep me out is easy. However, as long as you entertain any hope, I will not give way, lest all should seem lost by my fault. As to your anxiety for my personal safety, that is now the easiest thing in the world for me, for even my enemies desire me to go on living in this utter wretchedness. Moreover, to you and my dear Tulia, I cannot write without many tears, for I see you reduced to the greatest misery. The very people whom I desire to be ever enjoying the most complete happiness, a happiness which it was my bounden duty to secure, and which I should have secured if I had not been such a coward. When I write to you, or read a letter from you, I am in such floods of tears that I cannot endure it. A fit of weeping hinders me. These words show the deep agony he felt during exile. In a separate letter, written from Diricium, Cicero ends the letter to his wife by saying, I cannot write the rest, so violent is my outburst of weeping, and I will not reduce you to the same cheerful condition. Cicero also loved his family and missed them immensely during his time away. He was still concerned with his children's futures, which he questioned his wife about in a letter asking, But what is to become of my darling Tulia? You must see to that now. I can think of nothing. But certainly, however things turn out, we must do everything to promote that poor little girl's married happiness and reputation. Again, what is my boy Cicero to do? Let him, at any rate, be ever in my bosom and in my arms. He still dreamed of a day when he would return to his wife, and told her lovingly, And if I ever see that day and come once more into your arms, and if I ever recover you and all myself, I shall consider that I have reaped a sufficient harvest, both of your piety and my own. But even with a dream of returning, he felt no hope and solemnly told Terentia, For the rest, put it as dignified a face on the matter as you can, my dear Terentia. Our life is over. We have had our day. It is not any fault of ours that has ruined us, but our virtue. In a letter to Caesar, Cicero wrote, Observe how far I have convinced myself that you are my second self, not only in matters which concern me personally, but even in those which concern my friends. Going on, he says about Trebatius, that no honester, better, or more modest man exists. For such a man I ask neither tribuneship, prefecture, nor any definite office. I ask only your goodwill and liberality, and yet I do not wish to prevent your complimenting him, if it so please you, with even these marks of distinction. In fact, I transfer him entirely from my hand, so to speak, to yours, which is as sure a pledge of good faith as a victory. Excuse my being somewhat inopportunate, though with a man like you there can hardly be any pretext for it. However, I feel that it will be allowed to pass. Be careful of your health and continue to love me as ever. In a letter to Brutus, Cicero stated, I have greater opportunity of judging than any such casual observer, and I am more devoted to you. Make up your mind that Claudius is most warmly attached to you, 
and as such a citizen as a man of the greatest sense and most ample fortune is bound to be. He was eventually recalled by the Senate, and his return was a joyous one. day, Cicero's letters, his philosophies, his political rule, all these things are studied in Latin classes, history classes, and he's even a part of pop culture. These accomplishments were not the only thing he left behind. The personal letters we can read show us his other side, a gentler side, and it's an amazing accomplishment that most people don't recognize. <laughs>